if I'm not mistaken, I think these guys were from Saudi Arabia. These four brothers, listen to me. These four brothers, people were like, yo, how do you guys always get the opportunity to, to drive luxury cars? You got this big house. You got all this. They all said, us four brothers, we live together. Our wives, they live in the same house. Their job is to keep the house. Their job is to make sure that everything is good in the house, the cooking, the cleaning, and we go out there and we get the money. And all of the money, if I make a million, my brother makes three million, and my, my brother makes 20 million, but this one makes five, a half a million, it's all the same money. They all share the same money. This is the reason why other coaches get so much further ahead than us. Why? Because we don't want to help each other. We don't want to be the top dog. Why? I got my swag right, feeling crispy clean. Girl, I'm the flyest mother you've ever seen. So much money. Welcome, welcome back to the Hit Me Out Podcast in association with True Hall of Fame Builds. You yeah, already know what time it is, man. I'm your host, Michael May. Um, I spoke about this briefly on, on my live earlier, and I told you I wanted to bring this video to y'all about how now they're trying to push the minimum wage to $50, right? I told y'all this is not going to work. Now, before I get into this, y'all already know if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video to notification on this channel. I do whatever I want to do, whatever I want to speak about. I don't care what it is. This page is about, I want you, I want your, this page is not a gaming channel. This page, true hall of fame builds an association with hear me out. True hall of fame is a lifestyle. I always tell you guys, I want you guys to get your jacket at the end of life. I want you to go out like a Hall of Famer. Some of you guys are not even in the game yet. But I want to get into this. Shout out to Anton Daniels. You know what I'm saying? Um, We're going to get into this, man. Fair use, man. Pay, fellas, pay, pay attention, man. Pay attention. There's starting to be conversations. Remember when people used to protest about $15 an hour? $15 an hour. $15 an hour. We need to be making a livable wage. Now it's $25 an hour, yep. especially over there in California. And they decided that they want to lay everybody off because everybody got to become gig workers now because they got to price that. They got to pass the price of the brick over to the consumers. And then in addition to that, they also innovating in order to get rid of as many people as they as they possibly can. Now I want to stop real fast. I always tell y'all guys, right? I always tell y'all guys. This is why I gotta be careful what y'all ask for. I gotta be careful what y'all ask for, man. Because every time y'all guys complain and ask for higher wages, somebody's gonna get fired. I already told you guys, oh, I'm working, making $15, $18 an hour. I'm, I'm pretty much working two jobs. So now they're going to fire some people and you're going to have to work those two jobs because you asked for this increase and now you got it. So what he said is correct. Yeah, guys, see the minute that 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 uh, what is it? UPS and the truckers and everything they went and got uh, uh, now they're gonna make a hundred thousand a year i told y'all somebody's getting fired so what happened Ten thousand truckers gone just like that just like that but y'all want to fight for 20 dollars an hour at mcdonald's who do you think's gonna take that hit y'all gonna take the hit i always tell you guys try your best to make yourself irreplaceable pick up new skills you know, you know, y'all, one thing that a lot of y'all don't want to do is talk. Now, I told you, it's unfortunate. I went to school. Now, though, I don't I don't like to speak on the level in which I get paid to speak on because I'm trying to level with a lot of you guys. You understand? But I've been in rooms with people that most people would never meet in their life. Now, yes, most of it is due to my boss, Joe. But, you know, 
Yeah, I know that, you know, the finance game. I've been in that for a long time. I've been a speaker for my boss, Joe, for quite some time. And, um, yeah, man. Everything Anton is saying, especially regarding this topic, it's going to hit home for some of y'all. Because some of y'all dudes don't grasp the concept of what was actually happening before your eyes. But let's keep rocking and rolling up. Because they cannot afford to pay minimum wage workers $25 an hour. Now, legislators are starting to propose and talk about raising the minimum wage all the way up to $50 an hour. Now, before we get into that, what do I always say? What do I always tell you guys? What two states control what happens to the rest of the country? Huh? Right. New York City and California. Whatever happens in these two states tends to bleed out into the rest. There are some states that are just not, that would never allow what these two ridiculous states try. I, I, I recently moved out of New York City, so trust me. Trust me. The best decision I've made in my life. Shout out to Coach Greg, because me and Coach Greg spoke about, I want to say about five years ago, and after speaking to him two years later, I moved out of New York, and it was the best thing I ever did with my life. Shout out to Coach Greg. You understand what I'm saying? But let's keep rocking and rolling. $50 an hour. Real quick, let's just take a look at this. Uh, Congresswoman Barbara Lee of California is calling for a $50 per hour minimum wage. Kevin O'Leary was with me earlier this morning, and he weighed in on it. Roll tape. Why not discuss better management of the resources versus just continuing to pay for inefficiency and lack of executional skills? That place is a loser state, the number one loser state. Celebrity chef and... I will say this. Sorry, y'all. Uh, California is a loser state. Everything about California, it's a loser state. It's a loser state. I'm sorry. This is a fact. And New York City ain't too far away. You know what keeps New York City afloat? The aesthetics. The the lights. The What New York used to represent. It doesn't represent that anymore. I... Gruel joins me now. Andrew, thanks for coming on the show. My question... In case yeah, you see my cursor, you see this video right here? I've been told you guys, I've been told you guys, if y'all in California, get out. I've been told y'all this. I've been told y'all this. If you in California, you better leave. If you in New York City, you better leave. If you in Jersey, you better leave. I think that it's a game, but let's, let's keep rocking. Question is, what would a $50 per hour minimum wage do to your business? Yeah, hands down, this would completely decimate every single business in the state of California, albeit maybe there'll be 1% of you know high-end retail businesses that still remain open. But number two, what I want to throw out... What up, Sid? I told y'all I was going to be live streaming this Saturday because we, we had to get back into it because we had to dedicate an entire live stream over to the, the Nathan Wade Fanny, Fanny in California. Publishers Clearinghouse is definitely awarding $1 million or more. On February 29th, in California, why don't they just step forward and start paying people $50 an hour today? Well, because they can't, because they can't afford it. And if this is about actually putting more money in the pockets of the workers, why don't you just cut payroll taxes so that people are taking more money home? Because they can't, because they can't afford it. So to ask a restaurant, which in a good in, in a phenomenal scenario is profiting 10% on, let's say, 30% labor cost to double their labor cost to 60%. That means they're going to be net negative 20%. Every single restaurant will close overnight. Now, let's not, let's not, for those who may be clueless, for those who may be living under a rock, it's possible. Let's not play dumb, blind, and deaf. We all know what they want to do is they want to shut listen they want to minimize how many options you have this is no listen don't be surprised y'all they want like they want just for you to have to go to walmart just for you to have to go to 
uh, Jeffy Lube for cars. Like they they want to bankrupt so many other companies. So the main companies that they want to profit profit. They they want to kill off the mom and pop store. Let's get let's 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 stop, let's let's cut all the cap right now. And if you guys can't see it, like I said, whatever wherever wherever your rock is located. Let me know so I can go over there and throw some more rocks so I can bury you a little further down underneath because you're a waste. But let's keep rocking and rolling. Y'all do realize that as these legislators, these ignorant ass legislators are proposing, creating and drafting laws that ultimately will lead to a $50 hour minimum wage, right? And they doing is just as a, a y'all the ones that's going to suffer. The middle class is the one that's going to suffer, Okay. You got smoke today, Fearless Podcast? You make sure you bring your ass over to uh to After Hours tonight then. I do a whole fucking smoke show. Y'all won't smoke? Time dog gonna bring y'all smoke. I don't even smoke. I don't even believe in smoking. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't <laughs> but <laughs> let me get back to the story. Um, $50 an hour minimum wage is insane. And y'all do realize that, again, not only are they displacing y'all with technology, but they will also disrupt what you have going on with all of these migrants. Which y'all think that these migrants is going home? Y'all think that these migrants is going to get deported? Y'all think all of them is going home? They not. They here. They here. They're having children here that are ultimately becoming American citizens because they were born on American citizen. They, they were born on American soil. They're here. Listen, migrants are going to displace you. Technology is going to displace you. And you're going to legislate yourselves out of jobs because these jobs were never meant to be for people. A McDonald's job coming in and doing fries was never supposed to be the job that you're supposed to have for the rest of your life. Right. I ain't tripping off people that do fries. I do fries if I can make it, if I can get some extra time in my calendar to get a ninth stream of income. I don't mind doing fries. Listen, what what do I listen? If you know me and y'all guys watch some of my stream when I'm gaming on this channel, what I told y'all. Now I may not have eight on a seven stream seven streams, but you know, we 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 your your boy, your boy, your boy work it out. But I've always been interested in cars. So what did I do? What's the nearest thing next to me where I'm at? I went to Mo I went to Walmart. I signed up. Um I'm, I'm, I'm they 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 train you to work on cars, teach you how to do oil changes, and it shows you how to work on some engines. You can pay for extra classes and they'll take care of you. Why not? Why not? To get my hands on some vehicles every single day for a couple of hours. Yeah, cause my goal and my I told you guys my dream is I wanna do DIYs. I wanna be able to go outside, go to my cars, and work on my own vehicles. You know what I'm saying? No matter no matter what, I'm always gonna make time for that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but like he said, if he had the time to make an extra extra thing of income, why not? So that's the problem with some of you guys. Some of you guys are too profitable. I, I, there is nothing I wouldn't do that's going to stop me from trying to provide for my family. Some of y'all guys, some of y'all guys look down on some of these jobs, man. Y'all dudes is wild, but let's keep rocking and rolling, though. But the fact of the matter is you cannot legislate yourself to success mm -hmm. and then think that you're in a capitalistic market. Are you comfortable with the way California is run? Because it doesn't seem to be in favor of business much at all, does it? California is the worst run state. I mean, following off of what Kevin O'Leary said there, he's 100% correct. Um, you know, the thing is, is that they can't manage their money. They play these games on their spreadsheets where they move money around to pretend like they've actually got a surplus in the budget. They don't. Right. They can't prosecute crime. And the state itself is falling apart. But the thing is, it's an absolutely beautiful state. And quite frankly, I think there's a reasonable subset of people who actually have good values and good perspective on things, but they're being either ignored. And if they speak out, they get prosecuted. The only people That's that get prosecuted are the people who actually have good opinions. Uh, Andrew, when I go out to eat, I'm astonished at the high price of a restaurant meal. And I'm pretty sure this is true all across the country. Are these high prices driving business away from your restaurants? 
Yeah, so what happens is, is that if you maybe had like a visit once or twice a week, that person's gonna come once every two weeks at best because the prices are so high. It's not that they don't love your restaurant, it's just that everything's being priced out of the market. So ultimately, it, re eating out, even in fast food. GMC Sierra, it's the truck. Or get 6,000 purchases. Food is becoming a luxury experience. Ain't it's funny that, cause it's a luxury experience. That's that's my dream, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. That's one of my dreams. Once I hit like a certain age, I don't want my wife, my wives. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to cook. I want to go out, enjoy some fine dining, while the kids get older. I want to have some fine dining. I want to chill, relax. That's my. That's my thing of a good life. Go to steakhouses. There's a, there's a beautiful restaurant over here on top of the mountain. Take the tramway up, beautiful. But look over the whole city. Oh man, like I wanna go golfing. Let's go golfing, let's go golfing. I wanna go golf, listen, even though I do that now, but still, I, I, I wanna do it more. I wanna do it more. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's my, Man, I feel bad for a lot of people. As opposed to something that can keep jobs, you know, on the spreadsheet and can keep restaurants going day in and day out. Um, are you financially strapped? Excuse me. Oh, I know we don't do you know what? Here. It's not just about being financially strapped anymore. You can't even get loans because the rates are so high because it's such so risky to get the necessary loans that it's all friends and family and angels. And every single day you're living so close to the edge that you want to be able to take care of your team members that you don't even know how you're going to survive the next day if you don't get at least X amount of people in your doors. And then prices That's just go up and then they tax you more. That's a Let me tell you something. The margins are so thin. In the restaurant budget business, it's insane. Restaurant owners are gonna have no choice but to close the doors. It's not even just passing the cost over to consumers anymore. It's just flat out closing the, the doors. And then everybody is gonna be gig workers. And you know the benefit of gig work is that, or a benefit of gig work ex as far as the, the, the owners and the restaurant owners is because then you just gotta eat what you kill. Really, that's what we all going back to, right? Honestly. We're all going back to being, we're being forced back into being entrepreneurs. I know that sound wild. It's, it's supposed to sound beneficial, but it actually sounds. You know, what's so funny. I ain't even make it this far before I spoke to my guys early on my live stream. I said, you guys better start figuring out another way. Y'all better start figuring out another way. Y'all gotta figure out multiple different ways. Cause a lot of y'all guys are relying on, on one thing when you should be having several different things going. You understand? And I, I truly, truly feel like, I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna get lost, man. And here's the thing, y'all, here's the thing. What do you think is going to happen to the women? What do you think is going to happen to the women? Fellas, women are going to, fellas, hear me out. Hey, listen to me. I told you guys about New York City. Well, I think like last year I told you, actually like two years ago, I told you guys about the building that they're trying to make in the city. They made it in the city. Where it's like, I think it's like, like 50, 60 apartments where there it's strictly women. This building is for women who are willing to rent and live with other women. They still can't get that place filled up. But you see me, if I, if I didn't have my wife and I have my situation the way it is, I'm cool with living with my guys, my homies. Yo, a few of my fellas, we could bunk up, we could all live together. Hear me out. I, sh I shared you guys the story, right? Oh, I think it was, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think these guys was from Saudi Arabia. These four brothers, listen to me. 
these four brothers, people were like, yo, how do you guys always get the opportunity to, to drive luxury cars? You got this big house, you got all this. They all said, us four brothers, we live together. Our wives, they live in the same house. Their job is to keep the house. Their job is to make sure that everything is good in the house, the cooking, the cleaning, and we go out there and we get the money. And all of the money, if I make a million, my brother makes three million, and my, my brother makes 20 million, but this one makes five, a half a million, it's all the same money. They all share the same money. This is the reason why other coaches get so much further ahead than us. Why? Because we don't want to help each other. We all want to be the top dog. Why? Why? Why do you think that I'm so fast to help pull somebody up? Because I know that there's a rule, y'all. The same people that you see going on your way up, you're going to see going on your way down. But if I help my brother get up, how can I fall? But this is the problem. Like I said, even when it came to, I, I, I tell you all the time, even when it comes to this gaming community, the 2K community, the reason why everybody's numbers is stagnant, and I'm saying subscribers, you don't see Chris Move should have been at 20 million subscribers. Shake should have been at 10 million subscribers. Like, why? Because nobody wants to help pull nobody up. That's why. There's so much hate. Everybody want to be known as the top dog. I told you guys, I seen the video. It's unfortunate. It's fuck it. I'll say it. So Bash World has a video of his experience when he went to the 2K, uh, the 2K day when he was um 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 there. I guess they get the, the first dibs at playing the game, whatever the 2K day, whatever, right? Everybody's communicating. Everybody, you know what I'm saying. Everybody's chilling, you know what I'm saying, conversing with each other. But then in the corner, you see Shake, Joe Knows, and somebody else. It's like, why, why, why do you guys, why are y'all so separate from the community that you're supposed to be involved in? Like, like nobody, let him, I said it once, I'll say it again. So y'all guys want to chill all the way over there in the corner like everybody else is the dun because that's what it looked like. And I can't lie, I seen a couple people um, comment on Bash's video and I was like, I thought I was the only one that, I thought I was the only one that caught that. I thought I was the only one that, now mind you, mind you, hear me out. I, I hit up Shake, we talk, Shake is cool. So I ain't got no animosity to him. I'm just saying what it looked like was like, Okay, the million subscriber niggas want to be over there while the rest of the people, hear me out, y'all, hear me out. Hear me out. You want to know why when I turn these cameras off, I'm still the man? You want to know why I can go pretty much to any state, any state I want to in this country and I could plant flags Why I could always get put on? You want to know why when these cameras go off, I'm still the man? Because I'm the man in real life. I deal with real people. I deal with real people. I, Brutal Sim said it the best. Brutal Sim said it the best. Some of these guys, without the 2K community, they would be nothing. They're not known for nothing. And no one knows these niggas. I'm not speaking to them. I'm not speaking to Shake. I'm not speaking to Joe. I'm saying, period. A lot of these content creator niggas, these niggas is nobodies. If they don't turn this camera on and play over here on this game, these they're no one. They're no one. They've been no one. Some of these guys, they could walk in the street. You wouldn't even recognize these niggas. Come on, dogs. Come on now. The funny part about it is this. I want to play this real fast. I want to play this real fast. Before I make my point, hold up. Because I, I, I ain't going off topic, so hold on. Um, I, I got I to gotta make my point. Hold up. Cause I was gonna do a video on this. The thing about getting bigger, cause a real boss don't ever want to be seen. Exactly. And that's what people gotta understand. So the, the, the big man, he never wanna be seen. We still in the mentality, we wanna be seen. We want people to know we the man. Yeah. That ain't 
ain't with it. That ain't what it's about. The boss is all about him. And he's okay with letting everybody think you do. I'll say this right now. Dave Pena, Warren Buffett, even though it was when I was much younger, even though I was performing for him, but jobs, there were certain people that some of these people would never even be able to enter the room with these dudes. You know, you know what it is that some of these people's bosses didn't not see him out. All these guys want to seem like they the boss. They the big, they the big dog. They the Don Dottas. They this big. They this big. Because here's the funny part, right? I always say it. And this is a fact. The real top dogs, y'all don't see them. Now, ready? Shout out to the whole cast. Shout out to the whole cast of um of 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 of, of what is it? Um Millionaire Real Estate, the TV show. Shout out to the whole cast. Everybody knows that. All those guys are like friends and family of my family. Like, y'all know I've been living in penthouses since I was young. So there's no, like I got videos, the proof is up. There's no lies. I have a Facebook page where I got videos up, chilling in penthouses, showing niggas videos. Like, there's no lies. I've been driving Beamer, Benz and Bentleys for the longest time. But what I'm saying is, This is why I'm so passionate because you know when somebody is new money to you. It's new. Y'all niggas is, eh, I, that's the, people know when you really come from something because of the way you conduct yourself. Why do you think, ready? I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna wear a tease. It's funny, cause um, um, I think I did the video where the guy went to my did a I did a a, a, a a video in one of my hoodies that one of my most comfortable hoodies like I had it for like had it for like seven years. My brother got me the sweater. And you know when you wash it all the time it gets like little fuzzy balls and I don't give a shit. So I'm wearing it and the guy was like how you telling people how you giving folks advice when you're coming out here with not not with that sweater on? And then somebody commented and said, mm. When you drive a Lamborghini, Lamborghinis and coming out of I eight, and all you you got you got several different Beamers in the, you can do that. Like people, it's a little different. It's a little different, and it made me laugh because people are people try, man, yo, and, and it's sad because I know I'm, I'm I know I'm going on this little bit of a rant. But it's really important for some of you guys to understand that some of these guys who want to be the man so bad, they never will be. They never will be. They'll never even walk into some of the places that 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 I've been. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so funny. Like, I'm sorry. I, I got to share this funny story, right? It's two different mindsets. I know I've been in the music industry for the longest. So one time my son... My son, Truth, is running around the studio playing with Wide Clef, you know what I'm saying? Running around, he thought he's spinning on the floor, my son, and all that. So my son, my son calls me and I said, hold on, yo, speak to Uncle, speak, speak, speak to Uncle Clef. I gave him the phone, he goes, yo, what up, nephew, X, Y, Z, this and that. And, and he's like, yo, what, yo, what up, Uncle, what up, what up? Like, it's just like, that's his uncle, it's, like, it's, nothing, it's nothing. But my son's mom didn't really, she's like, is it? Is that is that like Wyclef? Like the nigga who sings like the Fuji's? I'm like, yeah. Like I, I guess because I'm just so accustomed to it. It's like nothing. It's like 
It's like, yo, listen, my wife met some of the wealthiest women in the world. And then she's like, oh my God, your hair is so curly, girl. And she's like, oh, thank you. And my wife would be like, yo, they so regular. I'm like, this is what people don't understand. This is what... So I say that to tell you guys, oh man. You, you, you just got to know when people really got it and when they don't. You know what I'm saying? When people had it and they and, and they lost it and they got it back again, you got to understand, man. A lot of the people that y'all guys hear on the internet, they're, they're still hoping and wishing to get it. That guy's got to find another way, man. Stop focusing. Fellas, hear me out. If you have a job, big shout out to you. But your job should be supplying the hustle on the side. That means that when you go to work and you come home from work, you should get ready to work another eight hours doing what it is that you got to do for yourself. It's as simple as that, man. But let's, I got to get out of that workers mentality, man, because that's what, that's, that's what they want to do. And this is how we're being forced to go back into into entrepreneurship. Because let me give a little bit of credit to the unions, right? Because when unions came about, unions weren't just about wages. Unions were about working conditions. And working conditions used to be so substandard because we didn't have the technology, we didn't have the safety, and a lot of people were dying and getting injured on the job. Um, there was no real structure. Um, different people was making different wages that was just being basic day laborers. And so unions came about in order to advocate for the worker and then to set a standard, which then trickled down into other industries. Unions become corrupt. Obviously, they start to steal money. They, do, they don't do the things that's in the best interest of the, of, of the leadership. Did you know that there's a simple combination of natural ingredients that will help you poop out pounds of old rotten workers, waste man, coal within life. just a matter of days? I gotta get out of that. Concessions, they largely started to drive automakers out of business because they was asking for way too much and they didn't really understand the business and that you had to have an equity into the business in order to really profit from it, which then we seen profit sharing come about in the late 2008, 2009s. Profit sharing came back to the companies because um, it was a way for them to have a vested interest in the success of the mm -hmm. company rather than just getting the wages, right? Mm -hmm. And so... Ultimately, what happened was we depended so heavily on the government and laws, and then you've seen these legislators continue to try to get the endorsements of people like the UAW leaders and churches and stuff, that ultimately we became so heavily influenced by government and by, by what, what the government was doing because the government had to trade favors in order to get that endorsement that eventually we got to the point to where we no longer created a free market we allowed for legislators to determine how businesses were supposed supposed to run mm -hmm. instead of ensuring that businesses were running as much as possible. Mm -hmm. The government mm -hmm. is supposed to give you the structure that allows for you to be successful, not hinder you from being great. And we forgot that. We've become so government heavy, so government dependent, social security, disability, social services. We become so dependent on the government yo this is sad to hear him say because this is a fact man this is a fact this is this is where the, this is where the phrase comes from big daddy government ready student loan debt why do you i think so many people voted for joe biden because they thought that he was gonna erase all the student Listen, I used to work in this little, I was working in this hospital, right? All these women, Joe Biden, he gonna raise all the student loan debt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Okay. Good luck with that one. When I speak to them now, hey, so so you you vote you vote you vote for um for, for him again? Oh hell no. He this but hold on, but don't, but, but you, but you was, but you, when I was there, how dare you, you a chauvinistic pig if you're going to go for Donald Trump. 
government giving us money that not only did we only let we legislated ourselves out of jobs because the industry is going to continue to evolve no matter what. But we also basically became a socialist country because now we depended on the federal government in order to help us to survive. Yeah. But they're not helping us survive. They're helping us to go homeless. Yeah. So now, just like everything in life and everything in society. And what a lot of y'all guys really don't understand is. Now, every time I try to put the video up, they, they keep taking it down. I'm not sure what that's about. All these different big time companies, they're buying up homes. They're buying up lands. They want to make you guys renters. They want you to own nothing. They, like, I hope you guys are hearing that. They want you to forever have to spend money and, and, and rely on them for you to live. I don't understand that. It's cyclical. Because what's basically happening now is that we're going back to all being entrepreneurs. We're being forced to be entrepreneurs because jobs can't keep us and in order for us to still get our goods and services because technology is going to continue to innovate we've all basically become gig workers and to be a gig worker you get a 1099 to get a 1099 you have to then file and put out for your own taxes and then everything became back to where it's originally going because nobody can afford to actually have an employee anymore they only can have contractors Nobody can afford to have an employee anymore. So now we've been forced to all become contractors. People that are driving your food, people that are preparing your food, people that are coming in and doing the jobs on a lot of these plants. These are people that are coming in as temporary services, gig workers. Even when you get a job a lot of times in corporate America, let's say you're a software engineer, you have to come in as a temporary employee to eventually get hired into whatever it is that you're doing. driving trucks they want you to own your own truck because trucking companies are going out of business and so now we're being forced to reset because nobody can afford to hire anybody anymore and we only need you temporarily which then forces you to compete against your brother and sister because neither one of y'all have any structure or anything that you can do and so y'all basically are pricing yourself all the way to the bottom. And that's why you start to see on social media, people keep saying, no, charge what you worth. Ain't nobody buying you. Your value is based off of what somebody is willing to pay for you. Yep. Charge what you worth, charge what you worth. When you get so outsized and how much you're asking for and what you're asking for, ultimately you advocate yourself out of a job. Now, hold on. I want to say this, right? Hear me out. Because a lot of people, they don't understand this. People don't understand that while inflation is going this way, while the dependency of the government is going this way, people making side money, people trying to be entrepreneurs, their income, what people feel about what, they, what they're selling to people, is going this way. It's going. So hear me out. Hear me out. That's like if I turn around and I start selling hooks again. Cause back then I was doing hooks for like five hundred, right? You know, I do a hook. I'm keeping all my rights. I ain't. I, I'm not selling the whole record to nobody. This is what it is. X Y Z, right? Cool. Hear me out. But now I would charge a thousand. I would charge a thousand because I know. I know not many people put pen to pad like me because remember, I'm doing most of the work. I'm probably going to end up recording you. I'm going to record my part. I'm going to write the hook. I'm going to arrange the song. I'm going to probably mix the song. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to probably walk you through the whole record. So my price would go up. But here's the thing. Some people price themselves right out of the market. Some people believe that they're worth more than what they actually are. It is what it is. Some people are killing themselves because they think that they're worth more and they're really not. A lot of people are not realistic. That's the problem. That's the issue.
Because the value of a person is... Are you feeling stuck in life? Wanting more freedom but held back by fear and self-doubt? If you... ...is only based off of the value that they add into the company or what you're willing to pay for. i give you another example, right? No matter what happens, because they're trying to incentivize me to pick up the pace and, you know, be more available, they can't and they won't get rid of me. Because the value add that I have into the company that I work for from a corporate perspective, which is one of the reasons why my bonuses are insane, the equity that I get every single year into the company is insane. No matter how much they pay me and the bag chasers and the Patreon members, you guys know how much that I'm making because I've shown you my W-2. It's insane because I have a whole lot of different streams of income. They will not get rid of me. Well, why? Because they feel as though I'm too valuable to let go. Now, at the point that they get to, if they ever get to it, and they say, okay, well, listen, the, the headaches and you not being available and you live streaming every day during the time that you're supposed to be at work outweighs the value that you, that you add into this company. Then at that point, at some point, then maybe they'll give me my walking papers. But based off of the meetings that I just had, what was that, on Thursday, this Thursday? Based off of the meetings that I just had, they're like, listen, we got some new projects. We need you to head this up. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for continuing to rock with us. And here's some more money that's going to be coming into your contract. This is what your bonus is. You know what's so crazy? It's really about being, like I said, irreplaceable. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to any place I've ever worked for. Like back in the day when I was doing security, now I know I'm doing armed service, but... It's pretty dope that I can go back and people are like, we want you. Yes, yes, we want you. We will put you in the best place possible or put you in the best. Because when you, when you work, when you do things that other people aren't, yo, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I told y'all about the contract, about my job, right? So when I first got here, I'm in the armed service, you know, they, they, they put me in a, in a private location. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Fed activity going on there, things of this nature. The building, the, it, it wasn't supposed to exist. So, you know, I'm there and um, one day I saw this old woman, I guess she's like the manager of the building with the owner and the guy, like who, this is his building. And she would come and she would turn on the water sprinklers so the whole building could run the water in the morning on the plants and get watered. She'll water the plants and all that. I'm an armed guard. So you know what I would do in the morning when I would get there? I would turn on the sprinklers. I would water the plants. And then she'll walk in and I'll be like, hey, by the way, I know you always do it. But, you know, I just figured I'd take a little initiative. And I turn on the sprinklers for you already. I already ran them for the 15 minutes like you like. You know, because boom, boom, I watered the inside plants. When they tried to move me from the location, literally, she said, the building owner said, if you move him out of this building, he's peace. He is revoking his contract. He don't care what the penalty fees are. This man better stay at the front of my building. That's how, when I see them now, oh, you should, you're you gonna come back. I'm like, nah, not really. Like, 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 that's how you have to make yourself where people remember your face. It's crazy. But listen, man, I'm gonna leave this at that. This video already went on long enough. It was a great, fantastic video. $50 minimum wage. I promise you this, it's not gonna work out. It's not going to work out. A lot of companies are going to cut people off and you guys are going to have to get back to work and get back to hustling. And I think that is the game, but y'all better be, y'all better be smart about this. But y'all already know what time it is, man. I'm your host, Michael May. Thank you for being here. I have to hear me on podcast in association with True Hall of Fame. Y'all already know. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video, turn notifications. Till next time, we out.